Hey everyone, this is Shira from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add links to your Anima project in Adobe XD. As you can see in this synced prototype, which was designed in XD, I have transitions, overlays, and other types of links, which we'll get into one by one inside XD. So here we are with our design in XD. Each artboard here represents a screen that can be connected in different ways. Anima supports almost all of Adobe XD's prototype interactions, which are defined within the Prototype tab on the right-hand side. Soon, we'll go through which of XD's triggers and action types are currently supported by Anima. These types of interactions would be considered internal links because we're linking to screens within our design. In addition to these links, Anima also supports external links which can connect an artboard to an external URL, such as a social media page or an email address, for example. These can be set within Anima's plugin under the Prototype tab within Links, which we'll get back to soon. Now let's see how to set up each type of link. To use Adobe Links, we need to make sure we're in the Prototype mode. Now let's select the element that we want to trigger the interaction, drag this blue line to our desired destination, and here on the right hand side, let's choose the trigger tap, action type transition, or when relevant, we can choose auto animate, and make sure everything's set according to how we'd like. And if you want to set an action type to take users back to the previous artboard, regardless of where they're coming from, you can always choose here previous artboard as a type of link. You can also use Adobe's time trigger interaction. If we want the artboard to switch after a certain amount of time automatically. In this case, we'll select the entire artboard, link to another, and under triggers, we're going to choose time. And here you can set just how long you want this to take before it transitions. Next, let's see how to set up an overlay using XD. In this case, I want clicking on this user's icon to trigger this overlay to display on the right hand side of our screen. So I'll select this icon and drag this blue line over to our desired destination. On the right side, I'm going to set this type to overlay. And now I can drag this green rectangle wherever I'd like this overlay to appear. Now, as previously mentioned, Anima also supports links to external URLs. To set this up, select the element you want to trigger the link, go to the Anima plugin and under prototype, Let's click the plus next to links. Here, we'll select external URL and paste in the URL that we'd like to send to. Let's choose if we want to open it in a new tab and then click save. Now on our classes artboard, you can see I've spaced out the elements on this page in order to show you how to use the scroll to or anchor link within the Anima plugin. This can be great for landing pages because it allows you to direct your visitors straight to a specific section of the page without them having to scroll there manually. In this case, we want to allow users to jump back to the top of the page without having to scroll. To create this link, select the element you want to trigger the link. Then within the Anima plugin, let's open links again. And this time we're going to select scroll to. And now with our mouse, we'll choose the desired destination which in our case is going to be the top nav bar. And you can also see here it's written as our destination. Now let's click save. Great, now let's see what all this looks like in our preview. So here we are in the Anima web app. I've already previewed and clicked sync so that my project will be saved and accessible. All of my links look great. I'm able to go here to the next screen, view my overlay, Go down to the bottom and be brought back to the top, just as desired. And you'll notice if I click anywhere on the screen, I'll see the hotspots appear of whatever's clickable on my prototype. So that's all for links and interactions with XD. Check out our other videos to learn more about best practices while using Anima. And don't forget to like and share our videos and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.